Hello everyone. Um, a while ago, I was um, several years ago. I'd worked on a, um, a road generator for importing uh, roads and stuff to uh, your map. And uh, someone recently asked me about it, and I hadn't worked on it in a while. A uh, really awesome guy helped me originally wrote it. Wrote a lot of the track generator stuff and and helped with the geolocation. So I I decided to take another look at it and I've got it working a little better um, but you can see I mean you know some of the stuff looks right but you can see these lines here they're roads but they're obviously not supposed to be like that so it's very experimental um, you know definitely you know I'm not sure how useful you guys are gonna find this but you know here it is anyway um, so I've got a lot of roads and you know it gets a lot of stuff somewhat right and uh, you know you can play around with it from there um, so you can see that that is actually a picture of here's my area that I downloaded for my um, height map for my landscape and these are all the roads in it and should somewhat match this and you can see if we zoom closer we can see the actual road meshes um, here. So, all right. So, um, this is going to be a long video. Uh, probably, I'm going to go over exactly how to accomplish this. So, let's start from scratch. I'm going to delete my landscape and uh, well, delete all my roads stuff. Let's see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just save it. All right, um, the other thing you wanna do, so uh, this only works if you're using the Mapbox BP. I mean, you know, you guys, I'm sure you guys know uh, that, um, you know, you can download stuff, just download the actual PN PNG without using the um, plugin and you can still get all these files and then manually import it but for this process to import the roads basically this GeoJSON file which is um, basically all these roads here uh, you need to use the plugin the other thing about um, getting this GeoJSON information it it doesn't all you know all the information here is not necessarily uh, uh, grabbed and you'll get you know roads if you got a road here it's going to grab the rest of the road out here as well the way um, that Mapbox works is it only grabs GeoJSON information that you can see on your screen so if I zoom in real close here it's only going to grab this area so we've got to be zoomed out and I just like to kind of get it right about something there um, so in this case I picked an area I have uh, set it for a five mile square area. So if we zoom out, this is a five mile square for Asheville. And um, so I want to go ahead and get it about right. And the other thing is, is that it will miss roads. And then this is has to do with map box. Um, you know, a lot of these roads will get, but it might miss, you know, maybe this road because you're not zoomed in. If you zoomed out far, it only gets data based one on what you see in your screen in the bounding box and two on the zoom level so you have to be zoomed out like this to get all the data if you wanted and you're missing this road and you want to get it if you zoom in here you're going to miss all the other data around it so basically you want to do it like this as best I can tell you still might miss a few things right about there something like that all right so let's set it to import height map and I want to go ahead and get the height map I want to get the map image because I want to use that as an overlay to help me uh, fix any of the roads and the geodation data and uh, guys if you're not familiar with the map app you know you can watch some tutorials but you need to have the plugin on uh, on your plugin in on your um, scene and you need to make sure you have your height map directory the height map directory is set in the map app on the web okay and you just basically go in whatever that is hello and uh, grab your um, path just grab it here control C and and you know 
and hit enter to make sure it takes it and then you're good and then you know, of course you can hit the select map which uh, then brings us up here so all right now we're going to export it so I've got everything I want here I've got the landscape size I've got it set my plugin and I'm going to choose let me uh, delete uh, this folder here just so we can start fresh that's just my download folder and where it's downloading to all right so let's export it Okay, and that's it. We're done with the map app. So we're good to go there. And we've got our data. So we've got our features. We've got our height map. We've got our map image. So everything's good. And we can see that it imported, the height map imported into our uh, scene. And we've got a landscape size of 6097. I'm just going to move this here. Okay, so now the next thing we need to do, we've got our Mapbox BP here. We need to go into the plugins folder, okay, the Unreal Mapbox bridge, and go into blueprints and uh, import. That's where the Mapbox BP is. We've got a new BP called GeoJSON Features. We'll drag that on the app, doesn't matter where you put it. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so the next thing we're going to do, that's just for testing, don't worry about that, is we're going to actually import the GeoJSON. Um, and that could take a while, depending on how, how big the file is. Let's take a look at how many roads you have. Um, so let's see, you know, I mean, when I mean a while, you know, maybe no more than a minute, I guess. I consider that well when it's importing it. You know, it's a decent size. I know that seems small to you, and, and, and I've certainly got um, some buggy stuff in here that I know I could improve the performance, but I'm not sure how much I'm really going to work on this. Um, so anyway, let's get to it. Uh, the set road height here, um, you can have it snap, snap the roads to the landscape, and it does a so-so job. Obviously, you saw the their initial... Um, demonstration of it and there are roads that are kind of still in the landscape that you would need to pull up and I'll, I'll show you that or you can have it above ground so it'll generate above ground if you want to just lower it yourself figure it out uh, road defaults okay you, you have guardrails you can add so if you want like guardrails on your roads you can check those um, uh, there's some other stuff here but you know main the main thing really is and here's the road message you know I've got default road meshes for it um, but the main thing probably is just the guardrails and uh, you can play around the other stuff um, all right so let's go ahead and import the geojson so you can see it's importing it's not fast i know i can fix it but again probably not going to do much with it all right so and it shouldn't take more than a minute um, at most you know uh, so if it goes on longer than that, then then something's probably wrong. All right, so we've got uh, roads array, so 337 roads. Now it's probably not actually 337 roads because it, again, it does mess up. It gets some kind of duplicates and does some kind of funky things. So I'm not exactly sure, um, you know, what it's all doing, and and we'll we'll go through that again. All right, so now that's imported. We're going to head and ch click on generate roads. It's actually a little faster too bad I say that <laughs> okay um, now the other thing you want to do is you want to click off of that uh, oh, where is it sorry I think um, Oh, I didn't put that generator. Just click somewhere off of it. I don't, I don't know why I didn't move that generator. Uh, GeoJSON features. It should have. I should have moved it here. But just click, click somewhere on the map to get off of that BP, that GeoJSON features BP, because it's trying to load the 
uh, 370 array elements again you know you want to click somewhere so you're not on it in your scene and uh, right now it's trying to load it even clicking off of it again bug so just click somewhere not on that once uh, it does its thing again it'll be much faster to move around and navigate so just wait for that tick tock tick tock Okay, all right, so I'm going to save that. Okay, so we've got our roads again. They kind of look a lot of messed up stuff, but uh, you know, some of it's there. So what I so what do you do? What do you where do you go from here? So once you got it in here, um, what I like to do is uh, I made a little um, material is to do the overlay. That's where we got the map image. Um, so we go to materials here, and this is just a temp lamps, landscape material for an overlay. And we'll set the map image that we downloaded to it. We'll import it. So first of all, let's grab our landscape wherever it is, and go to materials and um, select our material instance for our landscape overlay and add it in there. Okay. Maybe this is my computer. <laughs> All right. So the next thing we want to do is we want to import that um, map image we downloaded. So I need to go to my data and reward height maps. Go in there and grab my image and open that up. Let it work. Import. Go ahead and save it. <clears throat> okay, and then you want to open up the material instance. Right, sorry about that. And I've uh, already got overlay checked, and we just want to select our map. And we want to also set the landscape size, which was. Uh, 6097, so, oops, 60997, and then we select our image and set it in there, and there we go. So we can save that, and we can close that down. So, so here's kind of what the image looks like, you know, let me see that. So, um, Basically, I kind of use this as a, a way to figure out what 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 uh, roads are working and what aren't. So let's just do a little test here. A lot of times you'll see duplicate stuff. So when you see duplicate stuff, that probably that might mean there's something wrong. So let's see. That's Ambury Road, and where is that other Am Amboy Road? Okay, I don't know if it is or not, but what I can what we can do. This is kind of how I test things. Why I use a map image? Like let's say we take that first one we delete it okay so you can see on the map image that it actually that road is following this road right here so I'm going to do a control Z to bring that back I'm going to look at this Ambry road that little piece right there and what happens if I delete that so yeah you know it's kind of messed up there but you could uh, I think you can just maybe you know like drag I don't know Oh, oh, I see what it is. It's um, a little, little below the landscape. Oops. Let's, let's, uh, let's click off of that. Click on that again, and let's raise that up. You know, you can raise the, raise the whole road up, but you're going to want to just raise it up by little spline points, because you can see that some of it's there, some of it's not. So you'd have to raise it up, add new spline points. There we go. So now it's raised. So that little funky thing. Let's go back and. So didn't that other Amboy Road didn't really need to be there. It was just, I don't know exactly what it was. It messes things up. Let's take a look at another one. I don't know. Uh, there we go. This is kind of a messy road. So 
let's where are these other guys so so like this piece let's just take a look at it so I mean this to me looks like it might be a kind of a duplicate not all of them are duplicates I mean some of them they're multiple roads because they turn into other roads kind of deal so let's again let's grab that one that one looks like it's kind of the fullest one yeah so I kind of just look and see that one well maybe I don't know let's just delete it okay delete that so yeah so that one looks maybe a more correct the other one was just kind of a I guess duplicate on top of it and um, so again, delete that one and I'm just doing again doing a control Z to go back all right so that looks right there and then you know I guess that's right let's see if there's a road there looks like there is so yep so you know see how I mean how it has duplicate names but it's kind of an extenuation of the road just like it is on on when you drive let's see where's that guy so doot 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 so it's this guy here that might be in you know you can see all this huge mess here we got and that looked like that was unneeded and yeah, so you've got a ton of mess here so you just kind of need to go through it and some roads you're just going to probably need to delete completely you can see other roads it didn't even bring in um you know there's a lot of roads here that it that it didn't even bring in tons of roads so it gets some doesn't get others others uh, you need to raise up you know they're they're in the landscape too much things like that and then you know just you might have to raise and lower individual spline points or add new spline points um, so again not sure how useful it's going to be but it does get a lot of roads I mean it, it got a got a ton of roads not all of them missed a lot but again I think a lot of that stuff is that it's just simply uh, you know the data is not actually being provided you know for whatever zoom level we got we, we didn't get these roads here in the data and as far as it uh, you know messing up with these guys right here not a clue I don't know so you know when it looks like this I'd probably grab all this whole bundle right here you know select all of it and then just delete it and leave all the ones that look good in, and then you know maybe fix those up by hand and then draw the rest by hand um, but you know it gives you a starting point so the other thing you can do um, is let's let's pick another road here let's um I don't know I don't know let's see not a small one oops let's just pick a where was that one road we had no it didn't matter let's, there's a decent looking road okay so got a good road here yep see it's following it is following the roads okay so so any road you can pick any road you want and you can adjust things on it okay so redraw features right um and so uh, also another looping th uh, looping track but that'll actually loop it back to the thing but you're probably not going to use that but uh you know just in case you can see what it does it loops it back um, so you on on each road you have the same road data defaults right um, and you have the road data array uh, which is basically each spline point for it so you could um, just sit here and enable you know the um, I think that's down here maybe Oop. let me raise it a little bit watch it not work right now I said this is going to be a long video because I'm playing around with it okay you can see it oops you can see it here so when I check for the, when I clicked on each particular section so check uncheck now I have a um, you know uh, a side rail all right but um, you know maybe I want to generate it for the whole thing which is fine and that's where you can go to your road defaults here and check it and this is just for each specific road okay 
um, and then I can redraw features. All right. Now, like I said before, if you clicked on that, I showed you before, if you clicked on that uh, blueprint, the um, Oh, shoot, wrong ones, uh, blueprints, import. On this one, I'm not going to click it on, on the scene that was in our scene. It had road data defaults too, and if you had checked the, um, if you had checked the, where, the uh, guardrails in that BP here, then it would have set these defaults so that uh, all the roads would have had to it. So basically you've got like kind of the, this one here that would import it and you set whatever defaults you want and every single road would um, have those defaults and then you can go to each individual road and then kind of basically reset that road to whatever defaults you want. So let's say all this, all these roads came in with um, guardrails because I'd set it on the, on the initial import, but um, you know, this particular road, um, I don't want guardrails, so I could just this would be checked by default because that's how we imported everything from the from the um, other BP. I could uncheck these and then just choose redraw features, and so this row would then uh, no longer have it. All right, so I think that's uh, about it, and um, I don't know, hope you guys find it somewhat useful. It's it's uh, a work in progress, and I'm pro again probably not going to do much more to it. Um, I think that's uh, long enough, and I'll I'll do an upload. Um, I'm pretty much ready to upload it uh, as a new release uh, shortly. Thanks.